option is easy for people that are, might be afraid that it might be too much, uh, too much for them and they won't be able to do it. I'm telling you, you can have success. All you want is the will and the dream and you will grow them. First of all, order your, a mushroom kit from Midwest Grow Company, okay? I, I heard Cali Grow Kits is good. Nothing against Cali Grow Kits, but I went with Midwest and I really like them and they, they come through very quick on the order and all their jars are very good. Um, my first batch I grew, I got a beginner's get kit. I think it had six jars in it and I had no problems, six out of six. Um, I'll tell you right now, if you're going to order a kit, don't order a beginner's kit. Order one with more jars in it. Okay, because you're going to wish you had more when you have success with the first one and you're going to be like, shit, I should have got more. So just go right ahead and buy a medium to large kit, okay? Make sure it's jars. You want jars, okay? You get the jars in the mail. They look like this. They'll be all sealed up. They'll be all sealed up with, uh, with foil and they'll have four holes in the top, okay? What you do is I want you to, you, know, you got to, oh, next of all, you got to order your syringe. I use bestspores.com. They have hundreds of different cubensis spores. All of them are great. Um, my recommendation, I ordered Golden Teachers and Cambodians last time. Cambodians blow Golden Teachers away. This time I ordered uh, t more Cambodians, Titanic, and some weird synergen. I don't know, it's S-Y-N something weird. But anyway. Get your spores. Get three spore syringes. That's what you need for 18 jars. You need three spore syringes. That is exactly it. I was right down to my last pinch when it came down to the my 18th jar, but I got it done. All right, within four days, I already had mycelia growing, okay? My jars were already full of mycelia. Now, the way I inoculated my jars, I don't want to leave this out, okay? They say you need like a hood, you need like a sterile, sterile like laboratory environment, blah, 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 blah. Turn your oven up to 450 degrees. Let that bitch heat up, okay? Get yourself fucking, get yourself all your jars, all, and your syringes. Set it right next to the oven. Once that oven's heated up, open it up. Let that first blast of fucking hot air hit you. And that hot air, that's because hot air rises. So any spores in the air are going to be going locked. They're going to be going over your head. So sit down right in front of the oven. It's not the, most it's not the most comfortable thing in the world. You have sweat in your eyes. It fucking sucks. But take one jar at a time. Take the tinfoil off very gently just to expose the holes. Take your syringe. Put it in right on the side and put two milligrams in each hole. Okay? Two milligrams is all you need. You'll see it go in. And spores are small. So uh, little is a lot. So anyway, put those put those uh, jars back inside your box, okay? Once you're all finished, take that box. Make sure it's uh, it can close so it's completely dark in that box, and put it in um, in a closet or a cupboard, and put a heating pad underneath it. Unless your closet's automatically like 75 degrees, which most aren't with all the central air, put a heating pad under it. Keep it warm. You want to keep it like you know hot Florida humid kind of weather, you know, like 85 degrees. I live in Florida. We used to pick them all the time in the fields back before <laughs> before fucking cops would shoot you for doing it. But anyway, I can do it at home now. So, watch your jars, and within about four days, you should start noticing life. It might take longer, but with my Cambodians, I got life right away. Life looks like this. All right, so here's, as you see, uh, this dark color, uh, see this dark color here? That's the grow medium. That's vermiculite. And this is what ends up growing, okay? This is white mycelia, all right? Now, one of the things I do that might be wrong is I get a little bit fucking impatient. So I'll, I'll see that there's only like a strip left, a grow medium, and the jar, the bottom of the jar is still not um, inoculated. And, um, my first batch that I did, I knocked one of my jars out, and when it wasn't completely colonized, there's still a strip left that could have been colonized, and I was afraid it was going to fall apart. It did not fall apart. I put it in the grow chamber. Within a night, that mycelia covered all areas that it wasn't covered. 
and I also got like six flushes out of my my mushrooms for our mushroom jars that way and I think that's because the mushrooms have food to eat while they're fruiting so hey maybe I figured something out not not recommending to do that I heard it's better to wait till it's fully inoculated because you might be able to get contamination but for me no such luck or I got a lot of luck and nothing bad happened so right now I got some uh, I got some golden teachers or not golden teachers I got some Cambodians some synergies I believe they're called and I got some Titanics and next video I show I'm gonna show you what what's cooking okay so good luck growing please try to grow don't be afraid order the bigger kit and remember spores bestspores.com is Midwest Grow Company. You have to call, you have to order each thing different. You know, spores don't come with kits and kits don't come with spores. Hey, happy growing, man, and uh, peace. Anyway, free, feel free to ask me any questions or tell me anything that you know. Um, I'm looking for a good recipe for some uh, mushroom honey, so let me know. Thanks.